But he heals the harmful and he serves the selfish. Who is this God? Why? On the same note, John chapter 11 and verse 35, it's the shortest verse in the Bible. What does it say? Jesus wept. Why? Read the whole passage. He's crying. Lazarus is in a, in a tomb. Stones rolled in front of the tomb. He's been dead for four days. Jesus knows. He's already in code, told his disciples, I'm going to go wake Lazarus up. So we know that we know that we know Jesus knows what he's about to do. He's going to raise Lazarus from the dead. Why cry? Is he wasting his tears? Is he role playing? Is this just theater? Just, just make for, for a good gospel, for a good television See, I mean, why are you crying? You're about to change everything. Don't waste time crying. Don't waste time healing these people. You, come on, you know the outcome. Just help those who will pull their weight in the kingdom. Just serve those who will in turn serve others. Just heal those that will heal others. Just heal the legs that will run and take the gospel to the ends of the earth. Just heal the hands that will help the weak and the feeble and the hurting. But, but don't waste your power on the selfish and the arrogant and the sinful and the adulterous and the... Why cry, Jesus? It's a question worth asking, isn't it? Because it may change the way you and I live. In fact, of all people on the planet, it may be that Jesus is trying to tell us that we're supposed to relate to people differently than anybody else in the world. Recently, I was just thinking and writing and praying, and I had this question come to mind, and it was very convicting, I must admit. Do I love people, or do I love people's potential? What do I love more, the person's potential or the person. We are such a potentially crazed society. We're so crazy about potential, aren't we? Athletics, business, the university systems, matriculating from the upper echelon. It's potential, potential, potential. HUD, headhunters, jobs, Dog eat dog world. Who's got potential? Who's worth the investment? Who's worth the time? Who's... And if we're not careful, it seeps into our entire way of living and even how we reach the lost and help the hurting. We, we're looking for potential. Sure glad Jesus loved people more than their potential. If Jesus was only about potential, think of all the people he would have turned away. No, sir, you're not worth my time. I'm sorry, ma'am, you'll never serve me. You're not worth my power. You're not worth my attention. I'm going to give all my attention to my 12. And I'm going to exclude. No, that's not how it went. And sometimes I get very concerned as a pastor, just as a Christian. Some of the stuff I hear believers talking about, we've got to be careful, church, and go back to the book and realize the extravagant, seemingly limitless love. Jesus. 